Welcome to jazzham.com. Jazzham.com is an online store that buys sells trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so our customers can easily choose the best watch for themselves and the comfort of their own home. We offer these watches for the lowest prices anywhere online. If you want to know the price of the watch, simply click on the links in the description below. We greatly appreciate it if you buy a watch from jazzham.com once in a while. Today we'll be reviewing two Rolex Submariner watches. Um, here on my here on my left side we have the newer style one that was just released in 2020 this is the 126610 here on my right is a discontinued version just discontinued this year obviously 2020 uh reference number 116610 we'll be going over the dials bezels case crown bracelet clasp and we'll talk about the movement towards the end of the video so jumping right in, so jumping right into the dial here of course, we still have these similar style, similar style dials. We have the Rolex Maxi style dial, which are the circular hour markers, as you can see, with end in, uh, with uh, single end in C's at the six and nine o'clock position, triangular twelve o'clock position, um, and both of those uh, hour markers are still fashioned in eighteen karat white gold to prevent any tarnishing. Hands are still the same as well. Mercedes hour hands with a with minute hand as well. All luminous fills on both the hour minute hand and and the hour markers as well. So not too much has changed from the face of the dial. Um, we have the date window at the three o'clock position with a Cyclops lens on top of that sapphire crystal for magnification and easier viewing of that date. And one minor change is actually on the text of, on the, text of the watch. I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit. At the six o'clock position, we have the Swiss made. Now it's marked with a Rolex crown logo in between the Swiss made. The older version does not have that Rolex crown logo with, uh, between the Swiss made at the six o'clock position. Besides that, text is, text is still the same. Submariner with the water resistance right underneath that, the 300 meters and 1,000 feet. Superlative chronometer officially certified as well. 12 o'clock position text. We have the Rolex crown logo with the Rolex name and, or and it has the Oyster Perpetual date text underneath that as well. So not too much has changed in terms of the face of the watch, really. It's just the update to the Swiss made at the six at the six o'clock position. The other thing, the other thing is that you might notice that the dial is actually a little bit bigger on the one on the left. The reason for that is because Rolex has now updated the Submariner to a 41 millimeter style watch. So we have just a little bit dial, a little more dial uh, real estate on the newer style here on my left. I want to show you the luminosity of these watches, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and charge these up really quick here. Charge this up really quick and shut off my light box so you can see the luminosity. It's still going to be the same uh, same style of luminosity. It's going to be a uh, cro um, the chroma light display with long lasting blue luminescence, as you can see. So same blue luminescence on the hour markers and on the peridot on the bezel as well. One thing I do like about the luminosity of these watches is that actually the it actually reflects off the walls of the watch or the rehot and actually gives it a nice dimension, a little bit more depth to the face of the watch at night. So it's a little neat feature. All right, turning this back on, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the bezel now. Bezel, still the same style bezel in terms of uh, uh, just overall the same style. We have the black ceramic, black ceramic bezel, indices and Arabic numerals, same positions. Uh, not much has changed in terms of the Arabic numerals. They both, they all look about the same as well. So it has the wonderful high polish as well. Just might be a tad bigger, just a tad bigger of the bezel, just because once again, you are looking at a 41 millimeter on the left now versus a 40 millimeter on the right. If you want to know the functions of these bezels, both have a unidirectional bezel that track elapsed time, and I'm not going to cover that in this video. You can take a look at our standalone video on how to use that on our YouTube channel. We're going to go ahead and move on to the case, the case now where the main differences are for this watch. Once again, 41 millimeters here on my left, 40 millimeter on my right. One thing that one thing that's changed is sort of has the. Um, the sort of Datejust makeover that they've done uh, previously to the Datejust 2 to the Datejust 41s when they moved, uh, I believe it was still a 41 to the 41 though. But what I really mean about the sort of change from the Datejust 2 to the Datejust 41 is that they've done that to sort of similar with the Submariner where they have actually slimmed down the case lugs. As you can see, a little bit larger lugs, uh, a little bit larger lugs on the 40, whereas the 41 is more slimmed down, uh, slimmed down and in proportion now. 
you can see from the top and on the bottom as well. From a side profile view, a little, a little more prominent as well, as you can see that the, the case is actually slimmed down a little bit more on the 41 compared to the 40. The 40 has a sort of larger, a larger profile on the height. So even though this is a 41 on my left, actually still, uh, actually still wears very nicely uh, in a very slim fashion because of those, because of those minor changes to the lugs, slimming down the lugs um, and the overall case. The crown guards as well have been slimmed down. As you can see, it's a little bit thicker width wise on the 40 millimeter. Whereas the for, uh, the forty the new style forty one you can kind of see that it curves very beautifully and very nicely thinly against the case. The crown itself still looks still looks about the same, um, but actually the forty one has a sort of uh, has a sort of uh, wider crown in terms of width uh, vertically. You can see that it's more of a pancake shape than the forty. The forty is a much thicker uh, crown. For the, crown for the crown functions, I'm not going to go over the crown functions as they do have both the same crown functions. I will show you how the crown looks like though. For both watches, they're probably going, they're most likely the same. As you can, as you can see for both watches, the, actually I'll just do it one by one. So you can see the crown, so it has a crown logo with the three dots on the 41. And for the 40, same thing, you can see the crown logo and the three dots as well. So these watches are both trip lock waterproofness systems, meaning that they have the water resistance as stated on the dial itself, the 100, uh, 300 meters or 1000 feet. So just a little size difference on the crowns themselves, but the functions functionality of it is, is still the same. So you, like once again, you can watch the standalone videos for that uh, to see the exact functions of the crown. I'm not going to go over that. Going to the bracelet now is another minor change. Uh, similar to the changes that they did on the Sea Dollar and the Deep Sea, they've actually made the center link here a one millimeter, uh, one millimeter in width wider. Of course, that's to overall keep the overall proportions of the watch being a 41 now instead of a 40, so a minor update. But it really does look like it keeps the watch more in proportion than the previous generation did. As you can see, but both are still oyster style bracelets, nicely tapered from the first link down all the way to the back. You can see that nice and beautiful brush. It's a class side by side. And then onto the other side as well. Let's see. All right, so for the class, here's a side by side view of the class. You'll see, you'll see a little bit longer class for the, a uh, little bit longer class for the 40 versus the 41. But overall, functionality is still the same. So I'm going to go ahead and open both of them up here. So give me one second to open those up. There we are. You can see beautifully high, high polished class blades with the Rolex name embossed on there. For both of these watches, I just want to show you the back of the class because it's very important for the Submariner. We have to still have the glide lock extension. Once again, not much has not much has changed in terms of that. Still the same extension, and I believe the uh, extension itself is still up to 20, mil, uh, 20 millimeters. So let me go ahead and close that off. So that was the new style. This is the old style now. You can see, not much has changed there as well. All right, so the other change that Rolex has done for these watches is that they've changed the movement. So the movement, the, uh, the, new, the new style runs the newer style movement, of course, as Rolex has been sort of updating all of their previous watches into newer style movements, uh, such things like this, the Sea Dollar, the, the Sea Dollar, uh, the Deep Sea, you know, the Day Justice as well, going from the 3135 to a 32, uh, 3235 movement now. So the old style movement was a 3135 movement. Nothing wrong with that movement, by the way. It's a movement that's been tried and tested for over three decades now. You know it's a reliable movement. But Rolex has sort of gone into a sort of mindset of just sort of switching out, uh, 
some of the parts of their movements into more in-house made parts uh, for more quality for more quality control. So. 3135, 3135 movement on the old style, 3235 movement on the new style. So the difference we, differences between the two, uh, specifically for the similarities first, the similarities are they are perpetual mechanical self-winding movement cell. They're both in-house made by Rolex, still double tested, so precision of minus two plus two seconds a day versus uh, you know the typical Swiss testing of minus four plus six seconds a day. Rolex does a double testing to make sure it's within minus two plus two seconds a day. Same functions of the movement in terms of you know the hour hand, minute hand, uh, stopping of the seconds hand and changing of the date as well. The both of them still have the paramagnetic blue paracrum hairspring for resistance against magnetism. But now the differences are that the shock absorbers are, are different. So the new style runs the paraflex shock absorbers, which is Rolex's in-house in-house made shock absorbers, which they claim absorbs 50% more shocks than the industry standard that this the old style runs, which is the KIF shock absorbers. The new style the new style runs a chronogy escapement, which is a skeletonized escapement wheel made out of a nickel phosphorus. Um, uh, which means that the nickel phosphorus helps with reduction against magnetism with the perichrome magnetic blue perichrome hairspring, uh, which aids in resistance against that magnetism. As mag having your watch magnetized is one of the worst wasn't one of the worst things as it causes it to run erratically, usually in cases of running more much more quickly. But we also have an updated power reserve because of that efficiency of that chronogy escapement. So this watch can be put down on a Friday evening, picked back up on a Sunday evening, and be keeping time just fine. As a power reserve is now 70 us. 70 hours versus the regular the old style Submariner uh, has a um, power reserve of 48 hours so you'd have to pick it back up on a Sunday afternoon instead um, and you, you'll still be keeping time just fine but we still have an extra day of power reserve on the new style Submariner so uh, you know new up new updates to movements of course mean much better functionality overall but otherwise you can't go wrong with either you can't go wrong with either watch they have their pros and cons they have, they both have their pros and cons it's really up up to you but the new style is you know what's in now cuz it's 2020 and it's a brand new style it's a brand new style with brand new updates so let me actually go ahead and show you this watch on my wrist which is probably what you really care about so you can actually see how a 41 looks on the wrist versus a 40. Um, so I mean if you're a little bit if you're a little bit larger of a uh, you know a little bit larger of a guy you probably would want the new style Submariner, uh, new style Submariner as it probably would look more in proportion with your wrist. Um, so let me zoom out a little bit and there it is you can see i have an average man sized wrist of a seven inch wrist you can see it looks very nice and very in proportion overall the changes to the bracelet having that additional one millimeter down the center links actually makes the tapering looks much much more cleaner from that's you know newly uh newly done lugs and case overall so it has this nice flow from the case lugs to the bracelet all throughout of course still keeping that beautiful brush polish and once again that profile does not sit very high off the wrist any uh, very high off the wrist so a little bit slimmer of a profile so let me show you the old style now on my wrist so we're gonna go ahead and close that up now there we are. This one doesn't sit too high off the wrist either, but it does It does sit just a bit higher. As you can see, this is almost a little more spacing that sits ab above my wrist. And really those, those thinner lugs actually make the watch look more, sh you know, much more sleek and uh, much more clean than the, old, than the older style. But once again, this is all up to personal preference. Uh, personally for me, I prefer the new style. It looks, I mean, Rolex, there hasn't been a time where I've gone and said Rolex hasn't made a bad update. Um, but anyways, if you're interested in either one of these watches for the lowest possible price, check out our website at jazzham.com where the lowest price is guaranteed. And if you liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys soon. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. 
If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount. So you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in Jazz Time plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.